Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. Just a quick video today. It's a bit too hot to be playing VR games, so I'm going to be watching a movie. Not just any movie. Uh, Ready Play One was out today. I bought the um, Blu-ray version and I also bought the DVD version. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to watch this movie in your own cinema on the Oculus Go and also on the Oculus Rift. Okay, I do not have a Blu-ray player on my PC. The only reason why I brought the Blu-ray player is because of this 90 minutes of special features. The DVD version has a, a special bonus as well. Special feature, the 80s, your inspiration. I'm going to be using the DVD version to show you how to watch on the Oculus Go. The Blu-ray version you can watch on the Oculus Rift. Inside both of these you get this um, leaflet here which is a special digital download of the movie. So you go to the website, you type in the code and you can download a digital copy of the, of the film. I've downloaded a digital copy of this version using the code and that's what I'll be using to watch on the Oculus Rift. The DVD version I'm going to sideload into my Oculus Go so I can watch it in my own virtual cinema on the go. Now if you're lucky, some shops are also giving away the Ready Play One book for free as well. So this was at Sainsbury's. Now I do have a PS4 so I will be able to play the Blu-ray version of the film on my PS4 at a later date. If you have a Blu-ray player on your PC, I would highly recommend you get the 3D version of the film. Both the Oculus Rift and the Oculus Go can show the film in 3D and it looks amazing. I could not find a copy of the 3D version, I searched everywhere today, I've been around many stores, I was really disappointed. Okay, the first thing you need to do is to download this Make MKV. I'll leave links in the description below. You will also need a beta key. As you find out later in this video, I will need to uninstall the original MKV and install the new version. This version is now out of date, so I need to install the new one I just downloaded. Once the program's up and running, you need to go into the help file, click on the um, register, and then enter the code you just got from that website. Close the application, relaunch it. Okay, now you need to insert the Ready Play One DVD into your DVD player on your PC. Now all you need to do is click on this DVD icon. This will now scan the contents of the DVD and find all the files that you need. Now you're looking for the biggest file which is more than likely the film and it's this one here lot, the 6.3 gig. So I'll tick everything else, leave the um, film ticked, then click on make MKV. This is now converting the film from the DVD to an MKV file. When the film has been converted, you should be able to find it here in this folder where you save the file.
Next, you want to download and install Handbrake. Again, I will leave links to this file in the links below. If you have problems with Handbrake and it crashes on your PC, then you need to head over to this website here and download this version instead. This is the nightly build and this version should work okay. Okay, run Handbrake. Then you need to drag and drop the file you just made from the film into here. Handbrake is going to shrink the film right down to something more manageable for the Oculus Go. For the best quality, I would recommend these settings. Go into Presets, select General, select Super HQ 480p 30 Surround. Then in Format, you need to select MKV. Name and save the file. Now simply hit the start encode button. This will now encode your file so that it's a reasonable size to be able to port over to your Oculus Go. Now this may take some time, this can take up to two hours. Once the file has been encoded, you need to plug in your Oculus Go to your PC. When you do this, remember to go into your Oculus Go and select the option that allows the file transfer. This is a crucial step that a lot of people miss and forget to do. Open up the Oculus Go on your PC. Select Movies. Now simply drag the handbrake file into the movie folder. As soon as the movie has been ported across, put on your Oculus Go, browse to your favourite movie app, and watch the film in your own giant virtual cinema. The Oculus Go benefits from some really amazing lenses, so the quality is really sharp and crystal clear. And then he built it. He gave us a place to go. A place called the Oasis. <laughs> This is the Oasis. It's a place where the limits of reality are your own imagination. Now if you buy the Blu-ray by mistake and you find out you don't have a Blu-ray player, you can use the code that you get in the box to download a digital version of the game. And here's how you can do that and watch it on your Oculus Rift. The piece of paper you get with the Blu-ray version and also the DVD version will point you to this website and you need to download and install the Flickster video app. Once this app is up and running, it'll ask you to input the code. From here you can either download the movie or simply stream it. I opted to download the HD version so that I can watch it on my Oculus Rift in HD. To watch the movie in the Oculus Rift you can use big screen or I like to use virtual desktop. Again, just like the Oculus Go, you can now sit and enjoy the film in your own virtual reality cinema, and it's absolutely amazing. The HD quality of this film in the Oculus Rift was really stunning as well. I was quite surprised. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it's been helpful. Enjoy the film, and I'll see you in the next one.